What's up, guys? We're getting somewhere now. World six time attacks. These are starting to get really hard. We're going to do Slippery Summit. All right, let's hit it. Level one. Target time. 50 seconds. Level six dash one. See, the tough part with these is we're going to have to figure out how to beat them again. These aren't so self-explanatory anymore once you get level six and seven. There were a lot of levels that were tough. Let's pause it for a second here. So we got to hit the red, throw it, and then it'll stop it. Okay. Now we can jump over. Boom. See, I don't think there's a faster way to do this. That first screen. So we'll have to stop and think about it on the second one, too. So we definitely got to hit the yellow. We're going to have to get a shy guy. Drop him on the ice. And then we'll have to hit the red again. Oh, we might not have to hit the red again. Can we triple jump that? We might be able to triple jump it. Let's take this one. Oh no. We've already screwed it up. Man, this is gonna be tough. Ah, this is gonna be so hard, guys. All right, let's try it again. I think we had the right idea there. We just gotta streamline it. And you can't screw up. There's no margin for error. Everything's got to be done perfectly. Wonder can we just grab this one? Yeah, that might work. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe we can move them over to the other side of the platform. Let's go for this bottom guy. Oh, man. Come on, baby. How are we not going up? I'm holding up there. Ugh. Oh, that's so hard, guys. And we can't jump here. Jumping actually slows you down. Because then you're not precise about... Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's use this bottom shy guy. There we go. Oh no, that doesn't work. What the heck? What are you supposed to do there? We're going to have to think of a faster way to do that section. Cannot triple jump up there. So when we get there next time, we're going to have to pause and think of it. So let's think about this. Do we have to just hit the red? We might have to just hit the red. There's no way to take a shy guy up there. Let's go for it. Oh, 
Come on, baby, let's do this. So close. Got it. Oh, man, that was really close. 40, less than a second. Oh, man. That one is very tough. That is very difficult. We just barely got it. These are starting to get really hard, you guys. All right, let's head into 6 2. 56 seconds we got. Man, this one looks... We got to take a look at this. So, keys at the top. We got a ladder to get up there. We need the spring to get to the ladder. So, we got to get over, press the blue button, come all the way left, grab the spring, come all the way back to the right, spring up, grab the key, run to the left, drop down, back to the right. And we're going to have to press the red button when we're on top. Nothing, uh, nothing quick about this first section. That's for sure. Almost died there already. That's going to be the hardest part. Making sure we don't hit these ninja bouncy guys and die. Oh, made it. That wasn't bad. I really don't think you could do it that much quicker than we just did. All right, let's think about this. So there's our dude at the top. Um, do we want to hit the blue? I think we could take the blue. Oh, we need to hit the blue. We need to take the spring and hit the blue. And then we could take a pause if we need it. We gotta take the spring with us. Oh man, we got it. Yeah, that one was tough. I'm surprised we pulled it through so uh, quickly. Actually had a halfway decent time. We had a couple seconds to spare. Pretty good, we're on a roll now. Slippery Summit. 6-3, let's hit it. Target time, one minute. One minute on the dot. We gotta pause here too. I mean, these are all complicated now, right? So, what's the fastest way up? It's for sure using the ropes. So if we can get over, we might have to go up and over to the left. I don't know how we get up to that spring right above the door. We could try to get to it. Let's see if we can get to it. Like, can we do a jump here? No. Triple jump? Triple jump off of this might do it. Oh, it did. Okay, so that's going to be how we started off. That's going to save us a lot of time right there. Because the only alternative would be climbing over all these ropes to the left. Yeah, that was huge, guys. Now we can get up here. Boom, spring. Quickest way here is going to be... Oh, no, not doing that. Unless there's a way to get over there quick enough to where that icicle is still going to be there to jump back. Otherwise, we might have to wait for it. I'm not sure what to do there to be quick. The only way is... Oh, man. Get back up there and test it out. See if we could just time it. We gotta be fast. Oh, we got it. Let's just follow this thing and wing it. 
Not too bad. Not too bad, guys. All right, our dude's up there. We got a hot head here. We're gonna need to take the icicle across. We gotta get to the yellow button. So we can go up and over to the yellow. Triple jump back over the top. That's the way. Like that. Carefully. Yes, we got it. Oh man, that one was, that had the blood pumping at the end there. I thought for sure I was gonna hit one of those hot heads. Tough level. Yeah, these levels are tough to beat, let alone do them fast. You know, the time attacks. It's, they're they're really tough. This is the toughest part of the game, I think, doing time attacks. 50 seconds. 6-4. Let's do this. We obviously got to get the key, right? <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to do. Um, we can go back across, grab the key. Now we could run across. I got it. I got it. Woo. Oh man, we almost died right there. So we could do this. We jump into the blue and then we'll peer down here. Hit the red. Boom. Falling back here. We're in. That was pretty quick. Pretty good timing, I think. See, this, these are tricky. These are just tricky, man. All right, so we jump up, hit the red. We're going to come out on the bottom there. We go over to the right, hit the yellow. That'll bring us up top. Come out left, hit the blue. Hit the blue. Come back all the way across under the left side oh man this is i think we have time to do it i really do we just can't screw it up now we got to go all the way back across here. then back down cross blue down Got it! First try, baby. We nailed it. That's the trick to these is you gotta pause the game, you gotta stop, look around, and you gotta come up with a strategy before you do it. Don't just go in there willy-nilly, guns blazing. You gotta really think about, think about what you're gonna do. Calculate every move. We're on a roll now. We got a groove. 6-5. 58 seconds in 6-5. Come on, baby. All right, let's take a look now. Got to get all the way across the tippy top to the blue. Because that key is locked up right now. It's locked up tight. We're going down. Down, across, and up. Darn it. <laughs> we probably could have jumped there. I don't know if there's a quick way to do that part. I mean, there's got to be a way to get across fast without hitting your head. That's the part that's going to make or break us. We might have time to just stop. Do a handstand and get across the safe way. I think that's what we got to do. You just got to go the safe way across. Woohoo! 
Now we gotta get to the red. Oh, we gotta throw it. Oh no! We're wasting all of our time here, guys. Let's at least get to the next section. We're pro we are almost certainly not going to be able to finish it, but we could at least get a look at it. We can do this part quick. We're just not going to be able to do it this time. But I think what we got to do is we got to um, we get across to the right to that ladder, climb up, and then you'll be able to go left and jump down and you'll be right there. I think we could do that second part in like maybe 12 seconds. Oh, I was trying to go for it there. If we could do one of those spots like that super fast, I mean, that would be a huge advantage. I wonder, I'm going to test something on this try. I wonder if while you're sliding, yeah, you could you could jump into a handstand while you're sliding. I think. We might have saved like 2 seconds there. I don't I don't know that was even really worth it. Definitely faster than the first time. For sure, way faster. Look, we got uh, 14 seconds. We could do this right here. Here we go. Oh no! Come on, baby. We had that. Oh man. This part is just so hard to do fast. I think I got the plan though. I got the strategy. Gonna do a little pause here. Boom, look at that, that was quick. <laughs> that was good, you guys. Real good. Look at that, 36 seconds. Course record right there. At least for me. <laughs> All right, we got time here. Let's let's nail this jump. Oh no. I can't believe we screwed this up. We had so much time. That is frustrating. That part, it looks easy, but it's not. It's not easy to drop down and get moving the correct way there. Because then you got accidental backflip jumps and just the way the controls are in the game. It's just, it's a difficult spot to navigate dropping down to that ledge. All right, we got that part down. That was good. <sighs> I really don't like this level anymore. I know we can do it. I just keep getting nervous and screwing up that second screen. That's a super fast way to get past that part, though. Yeah, that's so good. That's a really good method there. 23 seconds, guys. I might even want to just go over the top at this next part. 
because we got time. Like, watch this. Let's just duck here. Boom. And we still had seven seconds to spare. That made that much easier not trying to fall onto that um, falling ledge there. Six dash six. 44 second target. All right, no fooling here. Let's figure it out. We got to get over to the red. Come across. Grab that spring. Shoot the spring back over to the left. Climb the ladder. Hit blue. Jump in the blue box. So if we jump in the blue box and we've got blue depressed, we need to get back over again, jump up, grab the key, throw it over, jump down, come across. Let's see if I can put it all together. Oh man, and we got bricks falling on us. So that, that just became real right there. We're gonna need to show a little bit of restraint here at the beginning. Here we go. No restraint shown. I, you know, I didn't even, I thought maybe he wasn't gonna shoot, shoot the bricks yet. Here we go. What are we supposed to do there? I got it. I know what to do. I got a plan. I've got a plan. Just like in the last level, after the second brick, we go into a handstand. Boom. Just like that. Got it. Oh, we can get down, get this across right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> Wasting precious seconds here. All right, we've got five seconds on the next section. Let's go. We can at least look at it. Oh, man. Well, there's got to be a trick to this level. If we go into the red and get up there, then we have to press the blue button. Right? We got to press the blue. And then you go across the spikes on the right. There might be a quicker way to do this first screen because we had like no time. Oh, duh. We went across at the beginning. That's how you save time. It's so obvious and simple, but I just did it backwards the first way. We got to throw the spring over. Now we've got way more time. Much better. That's what it was, guys. Just a little blunder. You guys were probably yelling at the screen before, like, don't do that. Just throw the spring first, silly. Now this one, I think we do need to hit blue first. Just like that. Oh no, we can't get up there. Yeah, screwed that up. We had to just keep going straight up that ladder. And then slide across at the top. All right, let's put it all together now. We got this. We know how to do it. We just got to execute. Come across. Grab the spring. Throw the spring. Get on this ladder. Button. Key. Key. Roll the key. <laughs> Almost tried to take it with me. 
Blue switch. Ladder. Alright, we're in. Don't get up so early this time. There we go. Now straight up the ladder and then straight across. Got it. Nice. Oh, this world was tough. Definitely a big step up in difficulty for time attacks. And it's not over yet. We got a lot more action here. Mario Minis. Time attack. Let's do this. 55 seconds. And go. Go, go, go. I'm guessing we got to press blue. Maybe, maybe not. We should have probably thought about this level first. Let's let's pause it and think about it. I definitely screwed up. No doubt about that. Like right here. We gotta let this fall here. Let's get the minis up. Let's let it fall again. Come across. There we go. Now what? How do we get him up there? Right? Let's just keep going, see what happens when I press this. We might need to bring that spring back to the left. Okay. So we got to take that spring back with us. That's the answer. So we can let this fall. We can do this first part the same way. Let's get him up here. Let this fall again. As soon as they get across, we press blue. Boom. Now we can grab the spring, take it with us. We're good here. There it is. Come on, my minis. I just don't know if we were fast enough. Come on, one second. Oh no, we were so close. Split second away, guys. I don't know, It we may be pausing the level. We kind of hesitated at a couple spots. Let's put it all together and I think we'll get it. With like a split second to spare probably too. See, we can't let him get hit here either, so. We kind of hesitated at the spring part. That could be the split second we needed. There we go. Come on, guys. Is this enough time? Oh my gosh, so close. Where can we shave a second off? We literally need to shave like 0.5 seconds. Trying to think of it. It's gotta be with one of these icicles, right? I'm just going to try to do it the same way, but as fast as possible. Come on, come on. Come on. 
That might be it. Just getting him across quicker here. Instead of waiting for him. I think we got it. Yes! That was it. One second to spare. Now it's time for the battle. DK, most likely one minute. Oh, they give us a hundred seconds on this one. This one. I remember this one. The beautiful thing is we don't have to do it without getting hit because that is hard. <laughs> this took me a lot of tries the first time to do without getting hit. Ugh. DK, you punk. Oh, then we lost our barrel. Here we go. Barrel number two. Gotcha. Oh. You know, I just thought of something. I wonder if you could just do a handstand there. There we go. Like, can we do a handstand and... Oh, we, we could, but we got hit by the barrel then. Gotcha. That was real messy, but it doesn't matter. We still beat him in 100 seconds. That's all we had to do. <laughs> we did it on our first try, too. Got it. Man, guys, these time attacks are getting so tough already. Slippery Summit, though, is ace. Perfect in every level. Time attack complete every level, guys. Press the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take it easy, everybody.